Max. And I'm Kasha Thompson. And welcome to Comparis this week. And Kasha's really excited about this exhibit that we're going to be am. talking about. Who could argue with something like that? <laughs> yeah, really. Okay, now, I know a lot of people, we're at the Reed's Gold Mine. I, I didn't say where we were at. And now, a lot of people might have been, you know, come out here before with the mine tours and the walking trails and panning for gold. I keep coming out thinking eventually I'll get enough that'll be... It's not a gonna, retirement plan, It's not David. a retirement plan. Oh, okay, yeah. well, anyway. Uh, but all kinds of great stuff. But they have something really special out here for just a limited time. It's Blackbeard's exhibit. And Kasha's going to tell you all about that. We have a lot of other information on today's show. So just write down, so you can write down all kinds of contact information. If you miss something, don't worry about it. We'll give you a web address and an email address at the end of the show. In 1799, young Conrad Reed found a large shimmering rock on the creek of his family's property. Years later, they learned that the rock was a 17-pound gold nugget. From this discovery, gold mining spread gradually to nearby counties and eventually into other southern states. During its peak years, gold mining was second only to farming in the number of North Carolinians that employed. The Reed Gold Mine is currently featuring additional treasure, but it isn't any ordinary treasure. It's from a pirate ship that ran aground nearly 300 years ago. The Queen Anne's Revenge ran aground near Beaufort in 1718. It is only in the past few years that artifacts have been raised from the depths of the ocean and are now traveling the state. Reed Gold Mine will host this incredible exhibit through April 5th. The exhibit is free and open to the public Tuesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Blackbeard's Queen Anne's Revenge features real items from the shipwreck of Blackbeard the Pirate. The exhibit displays artifacts that represent weaponry, nautical tools, and personal items. Items range from what one would expect on a pirate ship, such as cannonballs, lead shot, gun flint, and spikes, while others represent normal life in the 19th century, such as dinner plates and smoking pipes. The exhibit includes several display cases showing artifacts removed from the ship and fish tanks showing how secretions are removed from the artifacts. As part of the exhibit, children can participate in a fun scavenger hunt to help understand more of Blackbeard and pirates off the North Carolina coast. For more information about the Queen Anne's Revenge 1719 display featured at Reed Gold Mine through April 5th, call 704-721-4653 or visit nchistoricsites.org slash read. Now, if you love basketball, got a great opportunity. The Cabarrus Arena is going to host a Conference Carolina's Men and Women's NCAA Division II Conference Championships. They got game. They do have. Okay, now the eight-team tournament will be both for men and women's teams. And there will be, of course, the pinnacle of the season because you're going to crown the champions mm -hmm. of each one of the basketball for men and women. Now, admission to the event is free for everybody. The games will take place on Wednesday, March the 5th from 12.30 p.m. till 10 p.m. And also, so on Thursday, March the 6th, from 5 to 8 p.m., and a parking fee of $5 will be collected at the door. For more information on the Conference Carolina's Men and Women's Basketball Championships, again, March 5th, from 12.30 p.m. till 10 p.m., and then also on Thursday, March 6th, from 5 to 8 p.m., and again, at the Cabarrus Arena, just call 704-920-3976, or visit CabarrasArena.com. Now, there's a couple of local teams, so Pfeiffer University is in, in mm -hmm. that conference, Belmont Abbey, and also one kind of dear to my heart, Lee's McCray. That's in Banner Elk, it's not that close, but my oldest daughter played softball there and went to school there, so. So I, I don't know, I'm torn who to pull for. But anyway, it'll be a great match. And, and if you've never seen a basketball game at the arena, you have to go check that out because there is not a bad seat in the house. It's great basketball. Very cool. All right. Well, have you started your stretching yet for the senior games? Oh, I, I, every ready? day. <laughs> Stretching out your calves, not going to injure yourself this year? I'll try not to. All right, the senior games are right around the corner. The eligibility for senior games is now 50, so you could have been participating for five more, more years. years. I know. Me oh, know. tragic. <laughs> you can pick up your registration packet at any of the senior center locations and register early for your favorite events. Friday, March 7th, there's a special social activity. Mm. Older, older adults are invited to learn more about events that will be part of the senior games, including horseshoes, shuffleboard, billiards, cornhole, croquet, and so much more. You do the track events, of right. course. Take time to enjoy old friends, make some new ones, and complete your entry form at the social event. For more information on the pre-senior game social and clinic on Friday, March 7th, beginning at 2 p.m. at the Senior Center in Concord, Call 704-920-3484.
Now, if you haven't heard, the Community Read has started, and our book for all four counties yes. is going to be Mr. Penumbra's, Penumbra's. 24-hour bookstore. Book if you haven't read the book, it's really cool. So all kinds of great activities. More than 60 activities oh. over two months in four counties. It's a lot of fun. With a lot of really neat things. The activities are mostly mm -hmm. geared for adults, but there are some that are also appropriate for teens and children. But we're going to talk about one of those activities right now. Absolutely. I always like altering books as much as I possibly can. No, I was just kidding. Okay. Well, Those are choose your own adventure. That's a little different than altering. <laughs> that is altering a little different. Okay. So put on your imagination and on altering books on Saturday, March the 8th from 2 to 3 p.m. at the Concord Library. Participants can take used books and also recycle items and create a scene out of Mr. Perdundra's 24-hour bookstore so you can see how to fashion and form while reusing and reducing waste. For more information on the Altered Books activity, and again, that's on Saturday, March the 8th, from 2 to 3 p.m. at the Concord Library, just call 704-920-2050 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library. We've got another great activity from the Community Book Read. You can join a mission of mysterious nature on Tuesday, March 11th, and it's based on the events of Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore. Lovers of literature must find clues to plot your course. How hmm, neat is that? It's a giant good. scavenger hunt. The bus departs from Village Parking Lot in Concord at 9.30 a.m. and returns between 4 and 4.30 p.m., so it's a full day of activity for adults. Participants will crack the code using letterboxing, geocaching, and other navigational methods, bringing home both treasures and memories. Oh, How sweet wow, is that's that? nice. The cost is $13 per person plus the cost of lunch. Make sure to wear comfortable shoes. For more information or to register for the Mystery Hunt and Tour on Tuesday, March 11th, departing from Village Parking Lot, located at 280 Concord Parkway South in Concord at 9.30 a.m. and returning between 4 and 4.30 p.m., call 704-920-5600. Now, you want to gather information about living a healthy and active lifestyle? Well, you can do that at the Senior Health and Wellness Day, and that's going to be on Wednesday, March the 12th from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. at the Cabarrus Arena and yes. Event Center. This is a huge event. Oh, it is a huge this event. This is one of the largest events for seniors in our entire region. Right. It's a day of play. It is, and it's a lot of fun. A There's a lot of information, a lot of seminars, all kinds of mm -hmm. great information you can get. You can explore that information on comprehensive support for senior citizens, including socialization, and also there's entertainment, as well as kind of health and promotion and education. Now, the Senior Center strives to provide positive experiences to make retirement kind of rich and full. Now, so come on out for a day of fun, food, activities, music, free health screenings, and a whole lot of great information. For more information on the Senior Health and Wellness Day, on Wednesday, March the 12th, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., and again, that's at the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center, located at 4751 U.S. Highway 49, north in Concord, just call 704 920-3484 or visit CabarrusArena.com. One of our great community partners, the Cabarrus Health Alliance, has a very cool program coming up. Yeah. It's a special cooking class geared towards parents with selective eating children. <laughs> that's, I think that's like all children. All children. Yeah. Come on out to the Alliance Kitchen on Monday, March 10th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. for the Sneaky Chef Opportunity. Participants will learn some simple secrets on how to get your kids to eat healthy. The mm. cost is $5 per person and registration is required. For more information on the Sneaky Chef cooking class, Monday, March 10th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. in the Health Alliance Kitchen, call 704-920-1303 or visit cabarrushealth.org. Now, are you ready for some softball? Well, if you are, the Cabarrus County Active Living and Parks Department announces registration for the spring and summer adult softball leagues. There are several different teams that you can um, be involved in. That includes Men's Open, Co-Ed's Open, Women's Open, Men's Church, and Co-Ed Church. Early registration is available through Friday, March the 7th. Late registration begins Saturday, March the 8th, ends on March 14th and that's at 5 p.m. Now, team pricing varies depending on registration dates, and they range anywhere from $450 to $700. If you're unable to join a team but are interested in playing as an individual, well, you can just call for information and also for pricing. For more information on the adult softball sign-up, just call 704-920-2050. 
2702 or visit eteamz.com slash FLP softball. Well, and the county's had a team out there for like seven years. The Crushers. Teams, the Crushers, yeah. We've had have a good time out there. And, the coach. Oh, uh, yeah. So you know, <laughs> you do know what you're up against. Not real hard, okay? No. Oh, no. That's but our teams, our team's really good. We have a good time out there. And that's what it is. I mean, we have a really good team. There are some, there are some really, really good teams out there. And it's great exercise. And so, yeah, come on in. Check us out. If you're looking for the convenience of having a produce aisle in your backyard, Wow, that sounds amazing. That's pretty good. But aren't quite sure how to get a veggie patch underway? This class may be for you. Saturday, March 15th, from 9 a.m. to noon, participants will meet at the Elma C. Lomax Farm in Concord for a hands-on gardening experience as well as a gardening discussion. Mm. How delightful. Participants will go over strategy and practical ways to begin a summer garden. Start now. Yes. Start planning Very now. soon. <laughs> The cost is $5 a person with pre-registration required by Friday, March 7th. For more information or to register for the beginning vegetable workshop, visit cabarrascounty.us slash reserve partner, enter gardening into the search bar, or call 704-920-3310. Now, the sounds of the big city come alive in the New York export. There you go. The there Opus he Jazz goes with his film. Accents again. That's right. The ensemble cast of the New York City Ballet Dancers takes uh, the Metropolis by storm, and they show their very expressive and contemporary style. Now, you don't want to miss this free screening of this film. It is on Thursday, March the 13th from 7 to 8.30 p.m. at the Davis Theater. So, for more information on the New York export, Opus Film jazz film screen again on Thursday March 13th from 7 to 8 30 p.m. at the Davis Theater just call 704-920-2753 or visit CabarrasArtsCouncil.org. Are you looking for a new piece of artwork to hang on your walls? Why not find the perfect piece while supporting local arts education? Concord on Canvas has prepared a fun evening of great food, beverages, and bidding on artwork produced by Cabarrus County professional artists and high school students. Hmm. The auction takes place on Friday, March 14th, beginning at 7 p.m. at Hotel Concord, right in downtown right. Concord. Tickets to the event are $30 each or $200 for a table of eight. Funds raised support local artists as well as high school art departments and the Concord Downtown Development Corporation. For more information or to purchase tickets for the Concord on Canvas auction on Friday, March 14th, beginning at 7 p.m. at Hotel Concord, Call 704-920-2787 or visit CabarrasArtsCouncil.org. Now what do dinosaurs and bedhead have to do with one another? I have no early idea. I'm totally intrigued by this, okay? Trout Fishing in America is a musical duo that performs folk rock and children's music. Although most of their songs are children's tunes, the Trout's clever lyrics are guaranteed to keep grown-ups entertained as well. Now, best known for their songs, My Hair at a Party Last Night. I've been there. Okay. Oh, dear. And when I was a dinosaur. Been there, too. So, okay. You are there. <laughs> Thanks. Now, the duo, duo is composed. You know, at some point, there was going to be a joke about gray hair. Yeah, I know. And gray black beard, beard and black beard. beard yeah, mm -hmm. Just so you don't light my beard on fire. Okay. Com com You're welcome, Tony. <laughs> That's right. So, this is composed. This group is composed. Okay. Back to the script. Okay. Yes. Keith Grimwood and... Ezra Idlet. Now these musicians met in Houston more than three decades ago and they've been playing together ever since. Their music has won multiple Parents' Choice and Indie Awards. Now Trout Fishing in America brings high energy fun for the whole family to the Davis Theater. I mean with a name like that it's got to be fun, right? And that's on Saturday, March the 15th from 3 to 4.30 p.m. Tickets are $14 for adults, $12 for children, and tickets can be purchased online over the phone or in person at the Davis Theater box office. For more information on the Trout Fishing in America concert coming to the Davis Theater on Saturday, March the 15th from 3 to 4.30 p.m., just call 704-920-3976 or visit CabarrasArtsCouncil.org. Illuminate, Illuminate your imagination. Okay. This is the biggest event of the whole Community Read series with mm. the exception of a book tour by the author, but right. this is what you want to mark down on your calendars, folks. Uh -huh. It's on Saturday, March 15th from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. at the Cabarrus Arena. It's a quest for the code. How mm. cool is that? This free event includes both 
both physical and mental challenges based on Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore, The Community Read Book again, by Robin Sloan. Challenges include, ready for this, glow-in-the-dark obstacle courses, oh, yeah. blacklight geocaching, riddles, puzzles, trivia, and so much more. You can participate as a team, as an individual, or as a family to solve the founder's puzzle. Participants of age 18, under the age of 18, will need parent and legal consent. For more information on the quest for the code night, Saturday, March 15th from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. at the Cabarrus Arena, call 704-920-3786 or visit 411communityread.wordpress.com slash events slash quest for the code. Now you can find a lightning fast look at the annual St. Patrick's Day Disc Golf Tournament. That's going to be on Saturday, March the 15th from 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. Of course, it's going to be at North Cabarrus Park. This tournament will include everything from the captain's choice with a two-person team. The cost is $10 per team, and only the team captain needs to register. Disc golf equipment will be presented as prizes for the tournament, and also all kind of other special competitions are going to happen during the day. For more information or to register for the Look of the Irish Disc Golf Tournament, Saturday, March 15th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at North Cabarrus Park. Just call 704-782-5603 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner type Irish into the search bar. Have you ever wondered what it takes to make it in show business? Well, I've got the answer. A lot more than what we've got for you. <laughs> Get a behind the scenes look at a New York City's theater world from the perspective of a woman's rise on Broadway. Saturday on Sunday, excuse me, March 16th from 4 to 6 p.m. at the Old Courthouse Theater. The Wisdom of Eve is adapted from the story by Mary Orr on which the film All About Eve mm. and the hit musical Applause were based. Yeah. The film is rated PG and open to the public, and it is free. Yeah. For more information on the Wisdom of Eve film showing, Sunday, March 16th from 4 to 6 p.m. at the Old Courthouse Theater, call 704-788-2405 or visit bearsartscouncil.org. Another great place to watch a film. Okay, there is another opportunity. You can get inside look at the new Cabarrus County Department of Human Services, and that's going to be on Thursday, March the 20th. That'll be at United Methodist Church at 4560 North Highway 49, and that's in Harrisburg. Community forums are an opportunity for Cabarrus residents to see what the department offers, you can learn how it works, you can even meet some of the folks who work in the day in, day in and day out opportunities to provide those essential life services to those who need it most. Well, and let me tell you a little mm -hmm. bit. We've had a few of these forums now. We've had older folks, younger folks, moms, dads, brothers, sisters, community members right. coming to the forum to learn how DHS programs can help them, their family members, right. or the community that they help support. Come on out, ask any questions you have, and learn about programs that are available right. and ready to help our residents. You can ask any questions at all. We're yeah. ready to answer them. Now, this presentation starts at 6.30 p.m., followed by question and answer mm -hmm. session, as well as a meet and greet, so you can actually meet some of the folks yeah, with the representatives from each division of DHS. For more information on the upcoming Department of Human Services Community Forum, just visit the Hot Topics tab at cabarruscounty.us or you can just call 704-920-1400. There's another set of community forums that are coming up. I know we're loading it on you, but these are so important. <laughs> yes, they are. Join the journey and share your vision for the future of active living opportunities in our community. The Cabarrus Active Living and Parks Department is in the process of developing a master plan for future parks, recreation, and senior center facilities. The department wants your input, so come on out to one of the upcoming community forums and share your thoughts. They're drop-in forums, so just right. pop on in anytime in the two hours. The forums take place on Friday, March 7th at the Concord Senior Center, Monday, March 10th at the Harrisburg Town Hall, and on Tuesday, March 11th at the Midland Town Hall. These are drop-in meetings, so stop by between 6 to 8 p.m. For more information on the Cabarrus County Active Living and Parks Master Plan Development Forums, call 704-920-3484 or visit cabarruscounty.us and click on the Hot Topics tab. 
The Kannapolis Fire Department urges all residents to increase their awareness of carbon monoxide safety. With the support of a FEMA grant, the Kannapolis Fire Department has obtained a limited number of carbon monoxide alarms. Now, residents who qualify can receive these alarms, and the installation and service is free of charge. To qualify, residents must have fossil fuel burning cooking and or heating equipment, live in an owner-occupied dwelling, and could not otherwise purchase or install a carbon monoxide alone alarm in their home. For more information on the free carbon monoxide alarm and installment programs, just call the Kannapolis Fire Department at 704-920-4261. Have you ever wondered how city government works? It's a great process. Mm -hmm. With the Kannapolis Citizens Academy, you can get a first-hand look into the operations of city departments, from the police department to economic development, a wide range of topics. The Citizens Academy series is a weekly event of classes at various locations throughout Kannapolis during an eight-week period in March and April. For more information or to register for the Citizens Academy taking place March and April in Kannapolis, call 704-9 now, I know we've covered a lot of different information on today's show, so if you missed any of the contact information, all you got to do is go to CabarrasCounty.us, the homepage, and right there you'll see a little search box. You can put in the topic, you can find out some contact info. If you have any kind of problems, just shoot us an email at channel22, CabarrasCounty.us. And we've got a great newsletter where you can get the information we discuss on the show, plus so much more direct links to all the things we discuss. Just go to the top right side of our webpage, click on sign up for the newsletter, and fill out a little bit of information information or you can text CTW to 22828 and we also want you to sign up for Facebook and mm -hmm. Twitter when all the snowstorms were here that's how we were pumping out information residents who were on social media got it right away you can go to facebook.com slash Cabarrus County or twitter.com slash Cabarrus County if you have family and friends that don't have Time Warner Cable, can't watch us on Channel 22, or maybe you just want to watch us when you get an opportunity, you can just go to CabarrasCounty.us, scroll down the home page, and right in the lower left, you'll see a video screen. Right below it, it says More Channel 22 Programs. You can click on that. All the different programs we do are available for you to watch on demand. And if you've never been out to the Reed Gold Mine, we have a historical moments that talk about the history of the Reed Gold Mine, all about it. Gives you a little snippet of it. Check that out. But you really want to come. Once you see that, you'll definitely want to come out in this it's exhibit. It's a beautiful facility it here. It is like a top-notch museum right. right here in Cabarrus County. And again, with the Blackbeard exhibit, this is really, I mean, it really does take you back in time when you look at that. And the kids are going to love it. All the pirates hanging out in the <laughs> corners, right. treasure chests everywhere. Yeah, it is, it is really cool. And until next week, you have a great one. Take care.